Bienvenido DIYers, hoy tenemos llave trinquete. I'm just screwing with you guys. Today we're taking a look at the AC Delco electric ratchet. Now you probably remember me reviewing this electric ratchet just here recently. Well, this guy right here is the much cheaper counterpart to this one. Cheaper by almost half. But what we need to find out is, is it only half as good? Kind of doubt it. So this thing might be a good value, but we're gonna see. Now, right off the bat, we see some differences between this one and this one. The more expensive brushless one is, well, brushless, and this one isn't. The brushless motors in this one lets the battery drive the motors a little bit harder and just make better use of the energy stored in the batteries as well. And another difference is that this one was rated at 65 foot-pounds and this one's rated at 45. But what's awesome is they both have 100 foot-pounds of manual torque that can be applied to the wrench. So this 45 foot-pounds might not matter all that much because most of the time whenever you put it on a fastener you have to manually break the fastener loose and then you can zip the fastener on off. Now I'll only be able to tell if that's going to be an issue through use, so it might take a little bit of time to use this thing and get a feel for it and see how it actually does. So let's take a quick look at what kind of garbage we have on the box. It comes with two batteries, which that's pretty significant. It's ideal for car repair and engine work. Okay, you guys can see the part number there nicely. It includes the wrench and the battery and the charger made in Taiwan and blah, 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 blah. Well, that's about all the interesting stuff there is on the outside of the box. Let's see what's inside. Of course, it comes with a fire starter. Here's the charger. Looks just like the charger I got with the other kit and your two batteries. All right, this is a nice and hefty little thing. Give me a quick look over compared to the brushless ratchet. You know, this gland end looks identical, doesn't it? As far as the business end goes, the only thing difference I really see is that this one has a, a metal shank through this part right here. And it looks like this has a piece of metal that goes down inside here quite a ways too. Maybe not quite as far as the brushless one, but yeah, I mean, these heads are pretty beefy. So I would assume this one to stand up to just as much abuse as this one can. That's a really good deal. The switch is kind of funny. We'll have to see if that's actually a progressive switch or not. Hopefully it's variable speed. Well, I have no idea if these batteries are charged or not, but I have one of the other ones charged already. And it's nice that the all these tools use the same battery. And in fact, these batteries are the same as some Harbor Freight batteries. So if you're ever in a bind and need a new charger or need a new battery, you can just run down to Harbor Freight and pick up whatever their equivalent is. I think it's earthquake something, I don't know what. But yeah, let's uh, see this thing go. I'm trying to gently press the switch. Oh, that's a bummer. It's not variable speed, it's just on or off. Now see, that's one of the things I really liked about this one, is the variable speed. If you're just trying to gently take things on and off, it's much better to be able to just give it a little bit of juice. And with this one, you lose that control. It's all or nothing. Let's see if we can compare the speed between these two, huh? As you can see, they run about the same speed, with the brushless going just a little bit faster. But what's funny is the brushless stops in its tracks when you release the trigger, but the non-brushless kind of has a momentum that keeps going for a little bit. So it doesn't say anywhere on the box here like what the rip'ems are supposed to be on this guy, but they're supposed to be 220 or 200 I think on this one? I don't quite remember. But it does seem like the brushless is just a little bit faster than the non-brushless. You know, I don't like referring to this thing as just the non-brushless one. What's a, what's a better term for this one? Just call it the blue one, I guess. Now, I'm not exactly sure what the point of having these two different links are. I mean, on neither one of these guys are you really going to be grabbing them from the very back to do any turning. Because this is where the plastic body is on this one, so it's not like you're going to want to put a whole bunch of leverage on the back of it. You're going to grip it up here if you're going to be really reefing on it. And the same goes for this guy, you know. You're going to hold them in basically the same spot. Maybe this one's motor is really that much bigger? It doesn't look like it just from peering inside the casing. It looks like they're about the same size, but obviously a lot more power for the size in this guy than this one. Well, let's get some empirical numbers on this thing and see what she actually does. 
All right, since this thing can supposedly put out 45 foot-pounds, I'm gonna tighten this bolt up here in my vise to 45 and see if it'll unscrew it. Got it to 45.7. All right, it did 45. Let's see if it can do a little bit more. All right, got it up to 50.7. No, I guess 45 really is the max for this guy. Well, at least it does what it claims on the box. <laughs> That's not too bad. But remember, this one actually went up above 65. So if you're looking for the most grunt you can get, you gotta go with this one. But, you know, keep in mind, this one's half the cost. So let's take this thing up to 100 foot-pounds, and then we can manually apply the torque and see if it'll actually unscrew it without messing the thing up. All right, well, got it to 103. Let's see. All right, keep an eye on the head and the body of this thing while I'm trying to wrap this 100 foot-pounds off. If you see any kind of distortions or if it looks like it's breaking, let me know in the comments below. Ah, it's moving my whole table. Come on. All right, well. Still seems to work okay. Still have a nice positive click in the drive mechanism. Don't feel any slop in there. That's really nice. All right, she stood up to the test. All right, I'm kind of curious what kind of forward torque this thing has, so I'm giving it a little bit of runway. Now let's slam this bolt down and measure it with the torque meter after. All right, we'll see how much torque it takes to loosen the bolt. <laughs> it didn't even register on this thing, so. I'm guessing that was only like, you know, 20 foot pounds or something. Probably less, more like 15. It felt like nothing. And you know, I'll recall what this one did with forward torque, so let's do the same thing. Okay, this one actually put out 26.5. You know, I think I'll try the blue one again and maybe I'll just brace it better with my arm because, you know, maybe my arm is giving a little bit of a flex. All right, second try on the blue one, and still, <laughs> that's like nothing. There's like 10 foot-pounds or something. It's not even gonna register on this guy. So there's no doubt that the red one has more troops than the blue. So what do you guys think? It's half the cost, but is it at least half as good? Possibly even more than half as good? I don't really know if the extra power that the brushless one has really gives it an edge over this thing or not. I'm gonna have to use this one for a little bit and then decide if it's really worth spending the extra coin for this guy or not. I will say I think the biggest thing that's gonna bother me is that this has the variable speed and this one is just full huge like all the time. I really do like having that fine control that this one has. But I don't know, uh, you're just gonna have to subscribe and wait to find out. You know, I spent a year testing this one out, so I don't know, maybe I'll spend a year testing this one. I, probably it won't take that long, but I don't know, we'll see. Well, give us a thumbs up if you like the video, and if you don't, let us know in the comments below. Bye, thanks for watching.